YouTuber scandals have been a recurring theme in recent years as many content creators have faced controversies across various behaviours from scummy to just plain criminal. One such example is a former YouTuber by the name of Austin Jones and he's probably one of the most foil, disgusting YouTubers I have ever researched for a video. Austin was a musician who joined YouTube back in 2007 where he would upload pump and rock music video covers. He would go on to release his own album called Out of Character in 2010. His videos would also occasionally consist of vlogs talking about his life or short skits on both his YouTube channel and at that time Vine. During the height of his fame, his clean cut image and charisma attracted many young fans, particularly teenage girls. And by the mid 2010s, Jones had amassed hundreds of thousands of subscribers and millions of views on his music videos on his YouTube. He also embarked on live tours, further expanding his popularity. He would go on to release six albums on iTunes over the course of his career. He would also go on to reach over 547,000 subscribers with over 41 million views on YouTube. So it's safe to say that things were going pretty well by this point. But unfortunately, this is where things would take a very dark turn for both Austin and his loyal young teenage fan base. And it all began on May 10th, 2015, when a website by the name of Pub Fresh reported that Austin had been sexting underage female fans. And a YouTuber by the name of Damon Fizzy exposed Austin and began to share stories of girls who had gotten explicit messages from Austin at that time who were also minors. Now Damon received a lot of threats at that time before exposing Austin and he was told that if Austin was to end his life because of it, it would be his fault. But it turned out that Austin would be messaging young girls as young as 14 years old asking for twerking videos as well as nudes and would express disappointment when they refused to do so. When his creepy behaviour was initially exposed, Austin actually begged his teenage fan base not to expose him, claiming it would ruin him, asking him to delete messages that he had sent them because he was more concerned about his own career than he was about the actual victims and the crimes he was committing. Now, at this point, Austin attempted to do some PR damage control, releasing a fairly pathetic apology video where he did admit talking to minors asking for twerking videos, but denied asking for any sort of nudes. He claimed that the hateful comments online at that time made him depressed and suicidal. He also claimed that he was texting them because he thought he was just being fun and goofy, which is an insane reason to use, in my opinion. And to be honest, it was quite hard to watch the video he uploaded, because all he tried to do was just gain sympathy and even used the death of his sister as an excuse. Like, there is no excuse or apology that will ever fix what he was doing at that time and it will turn out that these messages were far more disgusting than anyone could have ever imagined. But at this point in time Austin actually wasn't charged with anything criminally and it would not be until nearly two years later when he would finally have to deal with the real consequences for his deplorable actions and we would also soon learn how deplorable these messages were. So on June 12, 2017 Austin was arrested for two counts of child pornography. Well, YouTube pop star Austin Jones is headed home after spending three days in jail. Just a few minutes ago, he left the Metropolitan Correctional Center in downtown Chicago, the MCC, where he was being held on child pornography charges. At the time of his arrest, he was actually currently on tour with other social media artists. Jones would consent to a search of his phone where police would find more inappropriate texts between him and his young fan base. And when you look at the initial court documents from the charges, I just want to say this part is also very disturbing so viewer discretion is advised here. So he was charged with two counts of production of child pornography and in the state of Illinois that means in layman's terms effectively that he not only induced a minor to share sexually explicit content with him. Now if you look at the transcripts of his text messages it clearly shows that Jones who was 24 at the time used the social media networking site Facebook to communicate online with underage females for the purpose of producing child pornography. And according to the documents he conducted online conversations where he persuaded and enticed the minor females to send him child pornography using electronic devices connected to the internet from his residence. He instructed them to dance in a sexually explicit way, receiving and watching the videos and also masturbating to them. He would say things like, prove you're my biggest fan, while instructing them on what sexually explicit content he wanted. He told them he could help them become models if they complied with his requests. Now both girls in this case were obviously of course unidentified because of the age, because they're minors. So in the documents they're identified as 
victim A and victim B. He stated in the messages that he knew he shouldn't be messaging because of the age and he expressed to his fans how lucky they were that he was even talking to them in the first place. And in doing so, this helped kind of manipulate the young minors into feeling like they had to do what he wanted. So according to the press release of the plea agreement, there was at least four other victims that were also around 14 or 15 years of age that he had asked for sexually explicit videos and pictures. Now, if that wasn't disgusting enough, there was also approximately 30 other occasions where Austin, using Facebook messages, attempted to persuade minor girls to send him videos and photographs depicting the girl's breast genitalia and anal areas now to be honest with you guys i don't really want to go into too much detail in terms of what the messages actually said because in all honesty they're deplorable and disgusting and for one i don't think youtube guidelines would be too happy with me if i did but also i just don't feel comfortable actually saying what they, it said because it's so vile and disgusting but what i'll do is i'll leave a link in the description and you can actually look at the court documents for yourself and see exactly what he said but i'm sure if you do look at them, you will agree with me when I say he was a vile and disgusting person. And the things he said to these minors is unforgivable. And because of that, this is actually one of the toughest videos I've had to research because the level of deplorability that he was willing to go with his young teenage minor fan base just makes me sick to my stomach. Like the sexual explicitness of the messages to these minors along with the manipulation and power he had over his victims is devastating as much as it's just pure fucking evil and when you think back to the apology video i mentioned where he claimed he only asked for twerking videos the fact that he thought he could actually lie about the messages and videos that somehow facebook wouldn't be able to retrieve them if the police were looking for it just goes to show like how stupid he is as much as he is evil like he actually genuinely believed that he was that powerful that he could get away with it i used to ask fans for twerking videos yes twerking the dance move it's not something that I'm proud of. It's not something that I think is right. And I shouldn't have done it. And to have the arrogance to sit in a video and apologize and claim that he never said anything else when it's clearly the opposite, when the police clearly found all the videos and messages that he received and sent. Like, it's insane. And he genuinely believed he wouldn't get caught and he could get away with it. And thankfully, he did not get away with it. So on May 10th, 2019, Jones would reach a plea agreement where he entered a plea of guilty to the charge of receiving indecent images of children. 26-year-old YouTube sensation Austin Jones will head to prison uh, after he has pleaded guilty to receiving child pornography. Prosecutors say from 2016 to 2017. He was sentenced to 10 years in prison, although to me he should be in prison for the rest of his life. He will be up for release on December 21st, 2027 and is currently being locked up in Loretto FCI. Now also thankfully as a result of his conviction he was also put on the sex offenders registry for life. At least when he gets out of prison he will still have to deal with the consequences of what he did. Once he actually pleaded guilty YouTube finally made the right decision to actually finally ban his account on the platform forever. Which in reality should have been done a lot sooner but you know at least in the end they made the right decision. And the fact that Austin knew he had a young fan base and was willing to manipulate minors through his own fame and power. To get these kids to send sexually explicit content to him is one of the darkest things that YouTube has. And people like him who get a little fame, who think they're untouchable, think they can do what they want and get away with it, just think they're above the law, are absurdly wrong. And abusing your fame by such deplorable acts is beyond forgiveness. These kids got to message someone that they saw as their idol, someone that they looked up to, and that was completely abused because you had that power over them, because you made them believe that they could be models or that they could see you in real life and they, they just wanted to make you happy. It just makes my blood boil that you would disrespect your audience like that. Now my heart goes out to the, obviously of course the victims and their families and I hope that the girls that were abused by Austin get the help and support they need and, and hopefully as they grow and mature themselves that they can find some sort of resolution and it's not something that stays with them forever because at such a young age when your brain is still developing any sort of mature abuse in any form can have a really long-term devastating effect on people psychologically so i hope these girls can find comfort in the fact that this guy did receive consequences and that they stood up and spoke out against him and didn't let him get away with what he did because it takes a lot of bravery as well to come forward especially for girls at this age because they saw him as some sort of god almost that he could get away with it it takes a lot of courage and they deserve a lot of 
admiration for that and you know of course they did nothing wrong they're only kids you know they didn't deserve to be treated that way and they didn't deserve to be abused like that and i also do want to shout out as well of course damon Vizzy, who was the youtuber that exposed him back in 2015 despite the weird hate he received for exposing a child predator he did the right thing and uh, he deserves some admiration for that as well that's also a kind of a warning for parents out there if they have young kids that like youtube you know just keep an eye on who they're watching and it's fairly easy for these kids to get indirect contact i like to believe that most content creators on the platform aren't predators and they respect their fans and they appreciate their fans and the way that they should be treated without crossing any disgusting boundaries unlike austin here so yeah fuck you austin but that's it guys thanks so much for watching please like share and subscribe as always if you enjoyed the video i probably will continue to do a couple more there's there seems to be a lot of youtubers out there that have crossed some boundaries so every time i do research on these kind of videos i, I keep finding more and more names popping up that's not to say there isn't great content creators out there on the platform who, who do great and good things. Of course there is. But I think it's also important to highlight the abuses that can occur with people that have any sort of power. It's a tale as old as time itself really at this stage. But that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.